gentlemen, you know, one thing about being a Hebrew, we don't eat any shellfish at all. And, you know, and we also know it's prophesized that the ocean life would die. And we're definitely seeing a lot of that happen over the years. So this came out in Esfist. Ocean acidification is literally dissolving the shells of Dungeness crabs. Wow. So this came out January 26, 2020. San Franciscans fawn over Dungeness crabs, cracking their carapaces and dunking the retrieved meat into melted butter, consuming these crustaceans is a local rite of passage. But if our oceans continue to acidify, that bit of ceremony could go the way of Friday nights once spent at Blockbusters. You know, it's almost like everybody's going to be forced to put all of the shellfish down. You know, in a peer review, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration funded study published in Science of the Total Environment, Populations of Our Beloved Crustaceans in Oregon, Washington, and British Columbia were found to have shells damage linked to an increasingly acidic Pacific. Though solely observed in the above mentioned areas, it's no feat of imagination to believe that same couldn't happen or is already happening off our own ocean fronts. Wow. You know, these are the animals that keep everything clean in the ocean, you know? And we have disrupted their lives. <laughs> their lives have been so disrupted. They, they can't even do what they were intended to do because they're just being devoured. The survey first conducted in 2016 examined larval Dungeness crabs along the West Coast and found their eco-skeletons had begun to disintegrate. The moment they hatched, similar findings were observed as far as 2010. Okay, so they're seeing this happen as soon as they are born. Wow. That is weird. If the crabs and other ocean life affected already, we really need to make sure we start to pay attention to various components of the food chain before it's too late, said lead author for the study, Nina Bednarsek, a senior scientist with the Southern California Coastal Water Research Project. To NOAA, she was among 13 other notable researchers involved in the study. As defined by the government agency, ocean acidification refers to a reduction in the pH of ocean water, primarily caused by an uptake of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere over long time spans. The CO2 is absorbed by seawater, a phenomenon occurring and nauseam now due to increasing amounts of fossil fuels being burnt annually. A domino fall of chemical reaction happen, which results in an increased concentration of hydrogen ions responsible for that pH reduction. The observed Dungeness crabs showed signs of carapace, uh, breakdown. So this is a breakdown of the shell, again, particularly among larva. This discovery worries researchers for a multitude of reasons, in part because weakened shells 
could affect everything from their ability to move and feed to being able to protect themselves against both the elements and predators. Alas, their odds of maturing into healthy, still alive, reproductive critters is hypothetically now hindered. So I guess we can be looking at a big crab die out go on in these oceans. And you know, there's still what they define as a heat wave going on in the ocean. And that's taking out a lot of ocean life. If these larval crabs need to divert energy to repair their ecoskeletons and are smaller, as a result, the percentage that makes it to adulthood will be at best variable and likely go down in the long term. I bet it will. But then again, you shouldn't be eating the shellfish anyway. If the crabs are affected already, we really need to make sure we start pay start to pay more attention to various components of the food chain before it's too late. Authors of the study express the need for more research to understand the exact effects increasing ocean acidification will have on Dungeness crabs in these Pacific coastal waters. However, the Seattle Times also referenced a 2017 study that's based on expected declines in some Dungeness crab food uh, sources and ocean acidity levels rising could mean West Coast crab stocks may fall some 30% by 2063, trust me, it's going to be way before then, especially if their shells are disintegrating. Oh, it's going to be long before then. Estimated at nearly 70 million as of 2018 per Orange County Register, California's Dungeness crab fishery is one of the state's more luc most lucrative marine business enterprises. Well, if these crabs have that much of a defect, nobody's going to be able to eat them. You know, I mean, it's just a matter of time before you won't be able to eat them at all. But I do find it interesting that this is happening, you know. It seems like everything in this world has fallen apart. Mm -mm -mm. This is just one more thing. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, this takes money out of their pockets. They can no longer keep benefiting off of the crabbing industry. You know, these animals are there to keep everything clean. And they have not been able to do what they should be doing down in the ocean because everybody keeps disrupting them and, and eating them. So that says a lot. But look like this is going to be another devastating blow to the U.S. because, look, they even have restaurants all around this country based on crabs and lobsters and things like that, you know? But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.